guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and today is another DIY video. Um, are we shocked or are we shocked? Because honestly, I've just been doing so many DIY videos, but you guys seem to love them, and I really, really love creating them. They're some of my favorite videos that I actually create. I love the whole process of going shopping for the supplies, coming up with the projects, brainstorming ideas, creating them, filming them, editing them, every single part of it I just really, really like. This one is packed with so many really amazing projects that are totally aesthetically pleasing, super simple, very affordable and great for any room, home, living room, apartment, house, decor, whatever it might be that you have. And they're also very alterable. Like some of these things you can use different materials to just like suit your own home design or suit your own projects. So whatever it may be, I think you guys can definitely find something in this video that suits you, which of course I'm so excited for you guys to watch. But I do want to mention before jumping into it that today's video is sponsored by Audible, which is absolutely amazing. I am so excited about that. You don't know what Audible is. It is essentially a website and also an app. Um, I think you can get it on multiple different devices and you can listen to audiobooks, news, comedy, podcasts, original content. They have so much over on Audible. You can actually just go over to their site and sort of browse what they have. But the thing I love about Audible is that I can multitask, so I love DIYing while listening to one of my favorite books ever. I actually read half the book when I think I was in high school and I never finished it, but it's one of my favorite movies of all time. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, what the heck? My favorite movie ever is called The Lovely Bones. This was one of the movies that I literally looked at every piece of production in the movie and was like, wow, this is absolutely amazing. And of course, going back to the actual book, the book is even more amazing. Like it is crazy how good this book is. And if you guys would like, you can go to audible.com slash Lone Fox or text Lone Fox to 500 500 to get a 30 day free trial. And and also one free audiobook, which is amazing because you can choose any book you want or you can choose Lovely Bones if you want to listen along with me. And every month you get one free audiobook and two free audio originals from a changing list, which is amazing. So you get a lot of content to listen to for the month. And yeah, I have so many fun projects for you guys today. I think you are really going to love them. And definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel for brand new DIY content every single week and also home decor content, all that fun stuff. And you can also follow Lone Fox Home on Instagram. I'll put it on the screen for you guys right now where I post more behind the scenes stuff. I ask you guys questions. We go shopping together. I'm going to start doing some Instagram lives very soon. Tons of fun stuff over there too. But without further ado, let's just jump on into today's projects. I am so in love with this first project and I use an oversized paper mache letter, these little wooden plank pieces, glue, a pen, and some scissors. So these little wooden plank pieces that I found, I got actually at Michael's Craft Store for just a couple of dollars and I'm laying them down over the letter and then kind of marking where I want to cut that piece. And I'm actually creating this sort of like a brick pattern to where um, they're not perfectly aligned. They do kind of stop in the middle um, just to create some more visual interest and texture. And all you have to do is lay the plank piece down, flip it over, use a pen to trace on the backside, and then use a pair of scissors to cut it. And the scissors cut these pieces so easily, so don't worry about that. Um, they're very, very thin and um, very easy to cut. So as you can see on this curve here, I just cut it super simply, placed it where it needed to go, um, and then used a little bit of hot glue just to secure that down. And I went all the way around the letter, just making sure to offset some of the wood pieces so you get a lot of visual interest and it makes it almost look like a plank piece of wood. And when you're all finished, you get this bold typographic letter. Next up is this sort of Scandinavian inspired magazine holder and I just used some felt, glue, scissors, and a pen. So I started off by cutting an eight and a half by 11 piece of wool felt from Michaels. Keep in mind, this was only 25 cents, so inexpensive. Um, and I got it in this color because I thought it looked very luxe in this uh, dark gray color. And I folded it into thirds and used a little bit of fabric glue to glue each time I folded it over. So I folded it to the center and then one more time um, into thirds. And you're actually gonna use one full sheet to create one magazine wrap. So once that's all done, you can place it under a book to dry and then you're going to create a second one and then just glue the ends together. And this will be hidden on the back side, so don't worry about that. And then once that's all dry as well, you can lay your magazine over the top of it, wrap it up in the actual little wrap, kind of fasten it shut with a little pin at the top. And the next project we're creating kind of plays off of the last one we just did, which is a wall wool pocket, which you can put like remotes and little flowers like this, whatever you please. And all you're going to need for this is some more of those eight and a half by 
11 sheets of wool fabric. And I'm just using a bit of fabric glue to just carefully go around the edge, but I only did it about three quarters of the way on two of the sides. That way when I sandwich the two pieces of wool together, you can actually fold back that top portion and kind of make it look like a pocket. Um, and I just glued that down as well. And then when you're all done and it's all dry, you can just use a couple of pins, just tack it into the wall or whatever you please to do so. And it just has this really pretty effect. Next up is this little eucalyptus wall hanging and I used a dowel, some dried eucalyptus, scissors, and string. I ended up not going with the paint. So what you're gonna start off by doing is on the end of your eucalyptus piece, you're going to use some of your white string just to wrap the end of it. You can just do a simple knot if you want to, but I just decided to wrap the whole end just to make it look a little bit more finished. Um, it's super simple and easy. And then once you get to the ending piece there, just make sure to tie off the strand so that the eucalyptus, of course, hangs up, but it's pretty lightweight anyway, so you don't really have to worry about that. And then I went ahead and just cut a generous piece of string just so when I went to go tie it on later, I had a various lengths and I did it for all the pieces of eucalyptus I wanted to use. And you can really add as much as you want. You can make it super full or you can make it very sparse like mine. I just thought it added a more minimal effect, but if you want it to look a little bit more full, feel free to do that as well. Um, but I just laid it across my coffee table and just made sure that the length of it was nice. You can sort of adjust it as you go, as you tie the knots. Um, I just wanted the lengths to vary as well, just so it kind of gave a little bit of visual interest to the eye and then when you're all complete, this is what it looks like. I thought this geometric yarn pillow turned out amazing and I used some yarn, a pillowcase, scissors, glue, a pen, and a ruler. And all you have to start off by doing is laying out your pillowcase and using your ruler just to create some various geometric shapes. There was no rhyme or reason at all to the shapes I was creating. I just used my ruler, put it down wherever it landed. I created a line and then connected the line to a new line to sort of create geometric shapes all around the pillow. So you can really do whatever you want or you can create like your very own motif or your very own design if you please, but I just wanted something very random. And then what I did was lay small sections of fabric glue down. That way I could use my yarn. And I started off by just cutting every single piece of yarn into the length that it needed to be in. But then I realized you can just squiggle it back and forth and you'll see what I mean by that in a second. If you're like, what does that even mean? You can sort of just take your yarn and then just pull it back and forth without needing to actually cut it. And I did cut it every now and then just so I could adjust where the yarn was. But once I had that full little section filled in or the, the piece I wanted to fill in, um, I went on to the next portion. So that's what I did to this next section here. Um, I think on this one, I actually cut each piece just so it looked a little bit nicer and cleaner because it was a more uh, triangular shape. Um, and then I did it down at the bottom too. I just wanted to create very geometric looking pieces and I also framed those sections in a little bit of yarn so the edges didn't look frayed. And that finished off the pillowcase. Just let it dry, stuff it with a pillow insert and you are good to go. So that kind of wraps up today's video. I hope that you guys really enjoyed those projects. I thought they were amazing, but like of course like I did them so yeah, they're amazing. But I think you guys are really going to love them too. You can definitely interpret them in your own way and make them match your own personal decor, your home decor, whatever it might be. I think there's a lot of opportunity with these projects. I think my favorite has to be that wooden letter. I just thought it was so cool. It's such a huge focal point too. And whenever I go to people's houses, and I love their house, I always find that they have one large like typographic element in their house that always makes me love it for some reason. I just love a big bold letter somewhere. So that one for me just absolutely did it. And it's so affordable too. I think it cost me like less than $10 to create that piece. And I do want to thank Audible so much for sponsoring today's video. Again, the link is below. It's audible.com slash lone fox and you're going to get a 30 day free trial and one free audiobook, which is amazing. It's 100% free. So you might as well just go head over and sign up and start listening to an audiobook. Before jumping out of today's video, I do want to mention you guys, we are nominated for a shorty award which is insane like there's still time to vote don't worry there's still time to vote you can vote every single day over on the shorty award website i'm going to link it below my exact voting link so if you guys click that head over to the website i would appreciate it so much if you would vote for this channel i cannot believe that we're nominated this year like this channel was only created like eight months ago and we're nominated for a shorty award which is amazing and i want to thank you guys so much who have already voted who've put in your votes who've transferred the votes over to twitter and facebook because every time you do vote you can actually get an additional 
original one if you share it on Twitter or if you share it on Facebook. And I've been liking and following a lot of you guys over on Twitter. So definitely do so if you'd like me to like or follow you there. And I just want to thank you guys so much. It's crazy how much this channel has grown um, over the past year. And I can't wait to see what it has to offer as well. So if you'd like to vote for Lone Fox under the house and home category for a shorty award, please feel free to do so. I love you guys so much. And I think that is about all for today's video. I will catch you in the next one and have an amazing day. Bye guys.